everyone and happy new year to everybody that's tuning in right now or is going to tune into the replay. I'm so excited to be here. My name is Jody Jackson and I'm a manifestation coach here um, giving webinars normally monthly uh, at, here at Life Coach University for their Pay It Forward program, which if you've ever seen any of my other webinars I've done for them, you well know how amazing I think this platform is. Um, just for ever to thought of, to think that everyone's gonna pay it forward and they tell two friends and they tell two friends and they do something for two more friends and it's just going to make this world a greater place. So I wanted to uh, start off the year with something that I think that we all could really use connecting to. Um, and that is about finding your truth. Do you live your truth? Do you want to live your truth? Are you scared to live your truth? Let's talk about this today for just the next uh, 13 minutes, okay? So I am going to sit down and get comfortable so we could start having a conversation. So let me tell you, uh, if you're first and if this is your first time seeing me and you're new to being at my webinars, let me tell you that I love interaction. Okay, so I'm going to put up my chat here. And if you have anything that comes up for you, a light bulb moment, anything you want to say um, to join in this conversation, feel free to put it in the chat. If you have a question, then feel free, I believe, is there a Q&A? Yes, there's also a Q&A here. So if you just want to chat, I'm inviting anybody and everybody that wants to be part of this. Um, I love the interaction. I love the interactive energy. So feel free to uh, put something in the chat. And if you have questions, put it in the Q&A. Um, at some point, I will try to get through all of the chat. So if it's in the Q&A, your questions, hopefully I will see it, but I will see it for sure if it's in the Q&A. So let's start this. Um, great thing to talk about in the new year. The first week is going to be, as I said, living your truth. How do you live your truth? So I have a pretty big question for you in day one of this new year. Are you ready for it? My question to you is, who are you? Is that a big question to you? Do you know who you are? Have you ever wondered who you are? Have you ever thought about it? Is this something you, the way you've been brought up in, in society and your family, this is something you already know? If it is, amazing. Let me know. And let me know how you've come about this. For most of us, probably, um, we, we don't know who we are. And I include myself in that because there's still parts of myself that I don't know who we are, but I've set the intention to know who I am. And I probably started that a good couple of years ago now. So let me give you some ideas if you're not sure even where to start, because that sounds like such a loaded question, right? Who are you? How many times do we really get asked that question? And how many times do we think about that in our lives? So let's come up with some questions that we can think about. And I can tell you, so you can start thinking about who you are, if you desire to do so. Okay, so here's one thing to think about. What do you like about yourself? What do you not like about yourself? 
These are some pretty reflective questions to big questions to go over. And I was so excited about going into it. One thing I forgot to say is every day and or whatever days you're going to be on with me, um, have a pen and paper handy in case you have light bulb moments, in case I ask a question for you to come up with some reflection about that you will remember. If you're anything like me, I must have a pen and paper handy or, or my phone to speak into something because something is over and I will not remember it. And that is one thing that I've discovered about who I am. I want to remember it. I want to think that I'm going to remember it. You know, I'm as young as I once used to be, but you know what? When I realized who I am, I know I'm not going to remember that, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay that I'm not going to remember it. As we get older in life, things change with us, possibly our memory, and we just have to change things around. We have to change them up. So now there was one time in my life that I did not need a pen and paper. Now I do. No big deal, right? This is one way I live like life simply. And that's what we'll talk about next week, actually, how to live life simply. But for this week, we're going to stay on um, finding your truth. And today, that question, who are you? So let's think of another question that we can think up of who we are. Um, one way maybe you could think about how you are is what are the kind of people you hang out with? Who do you hang out with? Whether they be the kind of people that you'd like to talk to on the phone first, if you haven't talked to people in a while because we're in the pandemic and, and maybe you're not being social, who are the type of people that you would like to pick up that phone and call first? whether it's today to say happy new year. Is it family? Because you could relate to them. Is it a type of person that shares your values? And that's, you know what? Another way to think of who you are. What are your values? What do you value? Are you religious? Are you spiritual? Are you agnostic? Maybe you're a very scientific mind and you think that the dinosaurs came and, and that we live this life and then we're gone and there's nothing else. Um, think about the other kind of people you relate to. What is it? So you have some questions here, right? What do you like about yourself? What don't you like about yourself? What triggers you? That's another really big one. What triggers you? Um, and who are these people you hang out with? I see there's a few people on here right now. Does anybody else um, have anything they want to say that they think about? Is there anything you can think of that comes up for you that you can think about that makes you realize who you are? And what you might not like about yourself versus what you do like about yourself is just as important. You know why? Negativity is just as important as we think of as positivity because it brings us an awareness. We can't know who we are until we have an awareness, right? Let me just talk to some people that are here. Welcome, welcome, Andrea. Welcome, Deanne. Welcome, Eva. Or I, I actually know somebody, Eva, that's how she pronounces it. She lives in a different country and I always like to get that pronunciation right. So if it's the Eva I know, then welcome or Eva, however it is for you. So 
if you're just joining, I see some new people are getting on. If you're just joining, hi, Liz, how are you? We're talking about who are you as a person? And we're talking about that because my subject for this first week of my next four weeks here at the Pay It Forward program at Life Coach University is to talk about, are you living your truth? And for day one here for are you living your truth is who are you? Loaded question. I know if you've never thought about it before. And what's coming up for me right now to bring that up again is when there's a loaded question, it's the same reason for that we don't do something we want to do, or we don't even approach it. Because you know why? What's coming up for me is when it's a loaded question or something that's a lot to think about, we think about, wow, this is so big. And we have to just really expand to get to that answer. And you know what? It's so big that I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like going there. It's true. It is a loaded question and it is big. And there's a huge possibility that you can be thinking that way, whether you're here right now or you're going to be listening to this on the recording. I'm here to tell you a way that you can make this so much more doable to answer a question like this. Let's not go to that far away place, okay? Let's try to stay right here and be present when we think about an answer to such a big question like this. And to do that, we're going to think, what is one small thing I can think about to myself? What can you think about to yourself? Let's stay right here in the moment and say, who am I? And think about is there the first thing that pops into your head? You might think it's right or it's wrong, but what is that first thing that's popping into your head? Okay. Is it, um, who am I? Do I like myself? Who am I? What am I doing right now in this moment for who am I? And am I liking this? Am I not liking this? Why am I liking this or not liking this? Let your mind run rampant, right? Use that imagination we had when we were children, right? When we were children, we didn't think much about what do I need to do right now? Something just popped into our head. And you know what? I'm going to use that for the next 30 days. When I ask you a question, or I have something reflective to talk about, let's go back to when we were children and just come up with something imaginary. And what is that first thing that pops into your head? So what have we got here today on day one? We've got um, these questions we're asking ourselves. Who are you? What do you like about yourself? What do you not like about yourself? One of the questions I asked you was, what are the kinds of people that you like to hang out with? Who are your favorite people to hang out with? Why? How do they make you feel? And who are you because they make you feel good? Or who are the people you don't like to hang out with because they make you feel bad? Okay, this gives you so much food for thought right here in these few little things. So I hope this helps you stay here and stay present and answer these questions right now and not think, wow, this is a humongous question to answer. There's so much in this. Let's stay in the here and now. So let's see. Liz says, what if your answer is, I don't know, or I'm not so many things. Well, you know what, Liz? 
that makes me feel this might even be easier for you. If it's not so many things, what are the few things that it's are, that it is? Can you think of those few things that it is? What are those things? If there's not a lot, I would find it easier to think of the few things, right? So tell me what those few things might be. And then Andrea says, I think of as a kid, you naturally follow your bliss. What fun, what is joyful? Amazing, Andrea, I love that. Yes, when we're a kid, we don't have all of these things that are stressing us now, now right? When we're a kid, we just do it. We, we do what comes next to us naturally. So I love that thought about being a kid. And hopefully if you're on again, hopefully in the next 29 days now, I'm gonna start thinking about that as a kid. So if there's anything, anybody else here that wants to think about what they would think if they went back to their childhood and when they were a child, that's, that's amazing. I love that. Keep bringing these things to me. I love the energy exchange. I love these questions. And I'm going to reflect on these things. So hopefully I've given something you to reflect on. You've definitely given me things to reflect on, which I love. And these are going to be short and sweet, not like these hour webinars that we're used to doing once a month. If you'd like to go back into my one hour webinars, my last full one hour one for this past month, the month of December, was how to live your truth. So if you're into this and you want to know more now and you want to hear more about what I said and have more reflection, go find it in the replays. One last thing I'm going to ask of you is I'm going to go back into this pay it forward program. We don't ask for any monetary, voluntary type of gifts. We ask for you to pay it forward. To us, that is more important than money. Pay it forward to somebody, whether it be big or small. And if you've gotten something out of this today, I really implore you to do this. Smile to somebody on the street. Buy somebody a cup of coffee. Call somebody on this New Year's Day and say, we haven't talked in a really long time and I really miss you you know what, and I'm starting just saying this to get a little emotional saying this because it means more to somebody than you think to do something. So whether it's big or live, little, pay it forward. And if you feel like you've really gotten something out of this even more, you can go onto the pay it forward platform at lifecoachuniversity.com at the top, you'll find the PIF, the Pay It Forward platform. You can go in there and you can find a place there to write down how you paid it forward. If you want to go even one step forward, I would love to see it. Everybody at the program and Life Coach University would love to see it. So look at this day one. I'm already over my 15 minutes. I can't help it. I'm just so passionate about everything I'm talking about. And I see there's one more thing here from Eva. What came to me was colorful and human. Oh, Eva, I love that. Colorful and human. That is so positive. Can anybody else relate to that? So I will tell you tomorrow. For day two, I am, oh gosh, I don't have it with me week, uh, for, for week two, but it's going to still be, in, or week one rather, sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting a little emotional, sorry. I shouldn't say I'm sorry, I apologize. Saying sorry takes away our power. Another little tidbit for you. Tomorrow I'll be on again for 
this subject will do all week, which is how are you living your truth? So if you would like to think more about today's question and who are you, let me know, think about it, find out how, reflect and see how that relates to how are you living your truth. I love you all. It feels so good to say see you tomorrow. And I wish you all well on this New Year's Day. Take care, everybody. Bye. When you want something else to change, all you have to do, I will tell you. What you have to do is change yourself. All you have to do is pay it forward in your mind. Smile.